Ball Game, sung by Edward Meeker, Edison Record. It was extremely rural, and in fact, the the ballpark, if, if you were to talk to Dennis Coho, who had been the mayor, or mm -hmm. to Jerry Walker or Rick Nelson, uh, they would tell you that they found out that this kind of became the cornerstone for what is today Kaiser Station. And at that time, that was all just a dream. The uh, city of Kaiser had all this land out here. There had been dreams and visions and discussions about it. But nothing had ever happened. Nobody had turned that first shovel of dirt and become a keystone anchor for future development. Just to for the hometown through every zoo, KT Blue. The Volcanoes had finished the 1996 season mm -hmm. in Bellingham. Mm -hmm. And Jerry had to convince the league that he would have a ballpark ready here by June of 1997. A lot of the other owners didn't think that was possible, that you could get everything that they had to do done, break ground whenever they would, and build a ballpark, certainly not one like this, mm -hmm. in five and a half months. Uh, but they gave him the green light because there really wasn't an option to stay in Bellingham. So when he came down, initially he worked out of the back of, of some offices on River Road in Kaiser. And then eventually Jerry and Lisa and Rick rented an old farmhouse, the one that I talked about, mm -hmm. next to where the construction was going on. And that gave them a chance to come over and supervise the construction, uh, meet with any of the construction people that had questions where they needed somebody on site to answer them. And then a, a lot of the work, whatever Jerry and Rick could do on their own, they did. It wasn't unusual to be down here, for example, in like in this office. They're the ones that painted, did all the painting. They painted all the walls in Volcano Stadium and did everything they could to help fast track that once the construction was done on the outside that would allow them to do the finish work inside. On a Saturday, her young bo called to see if she'd like to go. We got off to a terrible start. Uh, we were 4 and 10, we're up in Spokane, um, and again, they, there probably isn't a better group of prospects in the entire league. We're in last place. Mm -hmm. And we start out up in Spokane, we're playing very poorly, and we lost the first three games up there, and Keith Comstock did something that in the years I was with the Volcanoes was never done again. He actually called a morning practice. And so he has the bus pull up in front of the hotel at 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning. All the players get on the bus and he takes them out to what is now a Vista Stadium in Spokane. And before they have the practice, he gets everyone together and he tells them that he still believes in them. But he said, it's time that everybody quit worrying about individually how they're doing and start playing baseball as a team. And they lost that game that night, but told them at the end, I like the way you play. They played for really for the first time as a team. They came back the next day, and they won the game in the ninth inning. In the top of the ninth inning, they got a bases-clearing triple from uh, their little second baseman, Eric Matter. And they won that game, and they came home. Starting with that win, they won 14 of their next 18 games. Before the end of July, they were in first place. To see a show, but Miss Kate said no. I'll tell you what you can do. The first, it's almost a perfect two-year block. The first year, you're establishing baseball back in the area, and you're introducing your new stadium, your field of dreams. And the second year, you win a championship. And so I've always looked at those two seasons almost as one kind of a big two-chapter book, and having a championship in your second year was just a dream for people here, because in all the years, from 1940 on, mm -hmm. the Salem, the old Salem Senators had never won a championship, and the Salem Angels had won one. So this was the second championship in the history of this city, in this community, and uh, 
they were thrilled. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crackers, Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root.